Hello, brothers and sisters. Um, this is going to be a new one, so I'm going to give my, my hand a try at some vlogging, take you guys along the experience and the road and journey with me. I am on a mission. I feel morally obligated to reach out to many, as many people who are in the faith of Jehovah's Witnesses, who used to be our ones currently in questioning things or who are trying to get out. It's a very difficult thing to, to get out with um, <laughs> a lot of things intact, especially your family, and that's where this comes in. I only have a handful of family members left in the faith, and that's the only family I have left. The family on the other side of the family wanted me aborted when I was born, so I didn't even talk to them. They made their opinions loud and clear years ago, so I have my answer. There's no reason for me to stick around. But my mom, she is still very much in the face. She's a very much a do-gooder. And I love her to death. However, her cell phone is dead right now. It's very hard to get a hold of her, and I've been trying to drive out and see her. She lives about an hour away from me, and it's been very difficult to find her. So the first three times, couldn't find her at home. Whatever, cool. The fourth time I went out there, Um, I, she was driving home from work and I happened to just drive past her, so I followed her to her, uh, her nice house. And I knocked, and I could hear some movement on the inside, it went silent. Dead silent. And, um, I'll roll these clips of footage. All I had with me was my cell phone at the time. So I recorded some stuff, because I wasn't expecting to share this part of my life with you guys, but I feel it's important that you guys get to see how difficult it is to awaken your friends and family from the truth, uh, from being one of Jehovah's Witnesses, at least to be able to talk to you again. When you're disfellowshipped, you're, you're cut off. I'll list the scripture that's the reason why they do that. But I'm doing my research and I'm trying to reach out to her to at least start to get her to talk to me. She's all I have left. I've got her and her sister my aunt, who is starting to talk to me, so good. She's starting to listen. I know it's going to be a long process because you've gone through years, decades and decades of thinking a certain way and to open your mind up to other possibilities is a very difficult thing. So the first time I did it, and I'll roll this footage in a second, I went out there, knocked on her door, followed her from work, it's starting to rain. I'm going to have to get going because my camera's not waterproof. <laughs> um... There's no answer, although I heard movement on the inside of the, the house. It went silent. She was probably freaked out because it was later at night. But I, know, I knew what time, around what time she got off from work. So, went out there, knocked, said, Hey, it's your son, it's me, Cameron, I just want to make sure you're okay. I know your cell phone's down. I hear nothing. So I, I wait for like a good five minutes, I knock again. Um, try to peep in the window because I'm her son. Just trying to see any movement in the living room. I hear silence. And I have to go to the bathroom really bad, so I go down the street and use the restroom at a, some restaurant, come back, try to knock again. I hear some movement, silence. And then, uh, tried the back door, nothing. Her car's parked out front. So I kinda, I do that one more time. I go chill in my car for a little bit, go one more time and, and don't catch her give up at that point. She lives an hour away, so I drove an hour to be there. Go to gas, and I see her drive by. <laughs> and uh, so I, I finish pumping my gas, and I hop in my car. I, I, it's a very small town where she lives in, so I know where she's going and what direction. She's going to a friend's house. So I go to the friend's house, I find the car up front, and I can hear them talking on, in, the, in the apartment. I knock, it goes silent. I wait for five minutes, knock again. I say, hey, it's Cameron, it's me, nothing. So I leave a note, a handwritten note on my mom's car, which is now in front of this new apartment. And I say, hey, it's your son, I love you, I just want to make sure, okay, please, please reach out to me. Here's my cell phone. It's been two weeks, and I haven't heard anything. Even my aunt is, is worried. My aunt is the one who's starting to talk to me and starting to listen a little bit, so I can try to awaken her on the truth about the truth. It's been really disheartening, and however this turns out, whether it turns out amazing and beautiful and I'm able to awaken her, or maybe I lose her forever, um, I know if I don't do anything, 
she's already lost. So I have to try. And it's important for me to share this with you guys. I was not going to share this with, with anyone. But it's now becoming more apparent that people aren't really aware on the outside of what this does to families. It's really scary. Didn't expect to be doing this. But the positive is I want you guys to check out some more of my videos. I've got some that I'll link at the end of this video about how to make friends when you leave the faith. It was a very difficult thing for me to learn how to do. Um, how to cope and recover after you've left your faith. I've had a lot of comments come in that want me to go in depth on both of those two topics. Um, I'll be coming out with some new videos soon on the progress of whether this turns out amazing or very sad with my mom. And uh, why, you know, leaving Jehovah's Witnesses, why I left and coming out with a video series on each topic of some biblical questions that are not biblical from the Jehovah's Witness point of view or rather Watchtower. Because I want to help people. And I realize that I can help those who are in it cope with it, or those who aren't even in it, not even get involved with it, so they don't have to live with the pain that I have to live with on a day-to-day -day basis. So, brothers and sisters, stay positive. Life gets better. Hang in there. Even though it's tough, sometimes it's a roller coaster. It really does get better. Make sure to subscribe, like, and comment, especially if this is helping you in any way, or if this has inspired you in any way, or helped you out, or anything helpful in this video, let me know. Leave a comment down below. Let me, give me some ideas and some videos that you would like to see, because I have so many, it's overflowing. I'm trying to make time each week to set aside time to film stuff like this, to reach out to you guys and give you some really good, valuable content on why I left and how I'm able to move forward, even though I'm in this new chapter of my life of trying to reach out and save as many as I can and awaken those who need to be awakened. But uh, brothers and sisters, I'll see you in the next one.